welcome to the vlog. I've just hit the bath. I gave myself a little bit of a pamper. It was great. Washed my hair. I was gonna say look how shiny it looks, but it's wet, so obviously it's gonna look shiny. I washed my hair with the, the whey shampoo and conditioner. I'm honestly obsessed. I think it's great. And then the Redken Mega Mask. And I washed my face with the, what did I use? The Fresh Soy Cleanser. I've decided I'm gonna be putting pop-ups of each product while I talk about it. And then I did a scrub, which I've not done in a really long time, but I saw a little bit of dry skin. Um, so I thought I would, I thought I would tackle that. I used the Fresh Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash afterwards. Um, and my skin feels baby smooth. Uh, and then I decided to shave my face. I've not done it in ages, so I just did it on Instagram stories. I used these little Shiseido razors, which are so great. And I just go dee 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 And I, I pretty much do it above my eyebrows and then my hair. I think I'm quite, I think I might be, because I've maybe it's because I've got dark hair, but um, my eyebrows kind of grow into my hairline, so I just get rid of that. So I'm feeling very clean, very clean and fresh and, and dewy. I'm quite like dewy. That's that moisturizer. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light in the morning because it's so nice underneath makeup. And then I've been using the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle at night. I'm still kind of trying out this stuff, but I think it's great and the watermelon juice. I'm just, I'm actually trying out some, some skincare stuff just now. And as far as serums go at the moment, all I'm using is the fresh, I've got it here, I'll just get it, I'll just get it. The fresh deep hydration oil infused serum. I almost use this like an essence. So I just chuck this on my skin morning and night. And then I've been trying out the Pineapple C Bright Serum, which is really nice as well. Uh, I've got a few vitamin C serums that I really like, but that at the moment is what I've been using. And then I use my serums kind of honestly, just whenever I feel like it. So I've just brushed my hair. I'm going to put some red in it. Uh, the one United I put on when my hair's wet, not too much. And then I'm just going to brush that through as well, actually. Um, and I'm just going to leave my hair to dry overnight. I can't be bothered drying it. I'm quite warm. They look flushed. I spoke a little bit last week about feeling maybe good but not great. <laughs> you know, I'm feeling okay. I'm, I know, I know how, uh, how to put my positive mindset on, but I'm kind of struggling with YouTube at the moment. I just don't know what to film. I honestly just want to watch all these gorgeous pregnancy videos that are going around. Cece, my friend Cece Clark, has announced that she's pregnant. We've obviously got Desi being pregnant and we've got Raw Beauty Christie as well, which is the biggest miracle ever. So I'm just really enjoying watching all their videos. And yeah, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I, can't, I can't exactly film uh, that. Um, so I'm just trying to think really of what the best thing to do is. I wondered, something that, that I suppose I feel quite quite strongly about, is, is self-care and wellness and looking after yourself and your mind, body and soul. So that's one idea I had, which let me, like, I know it's a, it's a little bit off piece for me, but not too much. So let me know if that's something that would be interesting to you guys. I've got, like, I could probably give you guys like 10 great things that will completely change how you feel about yourself and your own like kind of mental well-being. So I'm more than happy to do that. It's my birthday this week on Thursday. Today, so today's Tuesday, tomorrow's my birthday Eve. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to be 27. I think 27 is going to be a really good year. I know that we all said that about 2020, but I've actually said for a long time that my 27th birthday feels significant. So I'm excited to see what happens in my 27th birthday. It might be in 27. I think it'll be really cool. Um, and I'm just excited. I think I've got a bit of a day off, which is nice. I've not got any meetings and I'm just going to chill, I think. I think the weather's actually maybe meant to be 27 degrees. Spooky dookie. So we'll just see. I, um, I'm excited. I think it'll just be a really chilled out day. Nice food uh, and relaxing. And I'll get ready because I love getting ready on my birthday. I like, um, actually last birthday I didn't because it was so close to us going away to get married. I just had a day with no makeup and I drank casty and played my PlayStation. Growing up things. I'm so appreciating you guys at the moment. I got, actually I got a throwback on um, my Facebook actually. I never use it, I don't use Facebook anymore. But I got a throwback four years ago today. My family surprised me with a 100,000 subscriber birthday cake four years ago today. So it just is, it's crazy. It made me feel really grateful and really lucky. 
yeah, I just can't believe what's happened in four years so much. Even though I'm feeling, you know, a wee bit not sure about YouTube and what to film for you guys, I suppose I should actually just probably ask you. Probably the best idea. But yeah, apart from that, I'm feeling really quite happy, I guess. Uh, it's Wednesday today. Uh, I just finished a very exciting meeting. I'm just over the moon. I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. I'm just over the moon. Um, so I woke up early this morning and got ready for my meeting and I'm pre I've am got a pretty chill day today. I've kind of got to be around and on call for, for some stuff that's going on in my emails. But apart from that, I've got a bit of a chill day today which is nice. I need to sort the office upstairs. So the office has kind of gone to pot so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it out today. Even just like mostly tidy it up just. It's kind of similar to Christmas. I just love waking up on my birthday or on Christmas with a clean house. Does that make sense? So I think I'm going to do a little quick tidy up of my makeup room which isn't that bad. I've also moved our spare, we've got a wee t a small TV that I've had that I've had since, I don't know, I was like 21 or something. And I've moved that upstairs to the office as well um, with my PlayStation. So sometimes when I say to Jack that I need to go and do some work, I can just shut the door and play my PlayStation. Sneaky. So I think that's what I want to do today. I want to potter about and just get that done. The weather's actually quite nice today and I think it's meant to be nice tomorrow. So on my birthday, uh, I think I'll just be chilling and sunbathing which is really nice, isn't it? I'm still racking my brain on what on earth to film for YouTube. So I wonder, I wonder whether I maybe just take a week. If I'm, you know, I don't want to just film for the sake of it. And I feel like you guys would know, like you would realize if I'm just filming something for the sake of it. So any ideas for filming, I would so appreciate. And I'm going to make a little list and do a little schedule. Cause I used to do that when we weren't in lockdown, what I would do is really use my diary on my phone. So I would do, all the events I had, any traveling, and then what I would do is, is plan my filming schedule and videos that I really wanted to film and put them in the diary. And it, kept, it just kept me inspired and kept me feeling really good about it. And going by loads of you guys' comments, it's the same for everyone. Just a little bit of a uncertain and uninspiring time at the moment, if that makes sense, in some aspects. I hate missing videos. I always upload the vlog on Sundays and then like a midweek video that is like whatever, makeup, skin, whatever. So who knows, I'm just racking my brain. I also get really inspired by like not being in my house. So that's maybe where my inspiration's gone. I've noticed a lot of my peers on here and on Instagram are just being really candid and honest about how they're feeling. Um, and just as well, just to show that it's like, it's okay not to feel great all the time. I know it's, a bit, it's actually pretty impossible. And by me, imagine I was sitting here pretending, you know, I actually guys, I feel great. And I feel really inspired all the time. That, that's not good for me because that's lying and it's not good for you guys because it's so not true anyway i feel like i'm becoming a an agony aunt for myself So I got sent these by Shrine. They used to be called Gypsy Shrine, but they've changed to Shrine now. False nails, they're just stick-ons. I took these ones off <laughs> and apparently these were so good because uh, the amount of messages I got from people, nasty messages saying that I'm an arsehole for going to get my nails done. They were press-ons, I did them at home myself. Anyway, I took them off and I, and I did these and I think they look so good, they're so cool. So it's a collaboration with Shrine and Alice McNeils on Instagram. Put all my rings back on, got my nails done, shaved my face last night. Things are looking nice. And I'm just watching The Sinner. Uh, I watched the last season. I love The Sinner. The last season is probably my least favourite, but the first season is my favourite of all time. I love it, so I'm watching it again for the third time. Our house smells like a really posh hotel because I'm burning my favourite candle. I got this as a gift a couple of years ago, but it's the, the Feu de Bois. Feu de Bois by Diptyque, and it's the huge one. I've only been burning it for like, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes, and the whole house smells like a really posh hotel. It's the best. Also, I had my little 
birthday get together with literally Cara and Charlotte. It was great, it was actually really, really fun. And one of my presents that Charlotte got me is this. You see that? It's an electric candle lighter and it's genius. I've used it so much already and you can recharge it. So cool. I've seen these on TikTok. I'm delighted that I have one now. So instead of cleaning, like I said I would do, I just sat under my nails. So I'm feeling, so I'm feeling good for tomorrow, which is really nice. I really like them, actually. Jack, can you go and get me a cola clico for my birthday eve? Yes, whatever you desire on Thanks. your birthday. I'm gonna go and wait outside. Which is tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> So. Oh no! Are you getting ready? Jack? Jack? Jack, come on! No! You kidding? You gonna go and get me a cola Calipo? Jack? Jack, get me two! Get me two Calipos, Jack! Yeah, yeah, two. Please. Yeah, I am. It's my birthday. Thank you. I'll be waiting outside, right? When you get home. Haha, <laughs> yay! Wow! It's so nice outside. We moved the hammock to the slates and I'm not sure how. Let me get, let me see if I can get in this without flipping it over. Oh, actually, I kind of like, I like facing the other way so the sun's not in my face. Look. Look at that. Oh, 27 years old, can you believe it? Time's really getting on. No, I'm joking. I'm in the prime of my life, baby. It was really nice. We ate dinner outside tonight and now we're just relaxing, taking in the last of the sunshine. So I think what we're gonna do maybe is wake up. Jack always makes me French toast and bacon on my birthday, always. He's done it for like the last five years or something. I'm excited just for a quiet day. I think it's meant to be hot but stormy. So if it starts raining, then I'm gonna play my PlayStation. But look how gorgeous the garden just looks. What a great day. It was really, this is all the stuff that makes me very happy. Sunshine, my hammock, my slowlies, and just being able to spend my birthday with Jack and then my team mum and dad, that's perfect. I can hear a car. I think it's Jack. I can hear Jack. He's got my eyes, Paul. That was the last one. That was the last one? Very last one. Thank you. Mmm. Yum. Cheers guys, see you on my birthday. Good morning, today is Jamie's birthday. And as tradition dictates, I've come downstairs early to set up the downstairs room for her waking up in the morning. She's obviously still upstairs sleeping. Um, and because we're still technically in lockdown, not for much longer, but we are still technically um, being quarantined to an extent, so none of our restaurants or anything like that are open just now, so I can't exactly take her out for breakfast or lunch or dinner. So I was thinking about ways that I could maybe spice up the day. Um, it's supposed to be actually really, really nice today, so I think we're going to be spending the majority of the day in the garden. But to give it a wee bit more excitement, I've come up with a sort of treasure hunt for her to find her presents. So I've come up with like clues and rhymes for all the presents. So she has to run about the house and find her presents. Because <laughs> we all know Jamie's a big kid at heart. I'm just going to go and set all this up just now and uh, then go and wake her up. Ah, oh, good timing. <laughs> just a card this year. Thanks. Getting too old for presents, aren't we? <laughs> First time I ever bought a card that says, to my wife. <laughs> right, I want you to read all the I want you to read the clothes yeah. out. To find your first gift, look high, look low. You should start where you sit to watch our show. <laughs> there are watch shows in here, but I watch it in here. Where do you sit to watch a show? Yeah. Where are where, where else do you sit to watch a show? Oh, no. <laughs> Over that side. Over here? Uh-huh. Do you know? Come on, get down. Oh! <laughs> Your favourite ones, crazy things. Yeah, crazy things. 
keep going till everything is fine. Next, you should check where the clothes go around the washing machine. <laughs> 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 Why are you in it? It's an angel. What's on it? Oh my god, another clue. Don't drink just yet, don't lose direction. There's something else waiting behind your reflection. A mirror? This is so clever, Jack. <laughs> No. Uh -uh. <gasps> what other cupboards have you got that have got mirrors on them? <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> the rat dad's bad! Entitles me to one full body mass size. <laughs> Do I get to claim that? <laughs> you can claim it whenever you want. But I'd read the clue. You can't redeem the mass size yet, it will have to wait. The hunt continues somewhere near the doggy tree. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Do you know? <gasps> oh no no, don't read it. Open the, open okay, the present okay. first. Cool, is that posh paints? Yeah! Cool! To match your watch. I've never had a nice paint. You're right with your right hand as well, don't you? Yeah. Yep. It's got something engraved on it. JGM in the Do you like it? Yeah. It's a businesswoman's pen. Yeah. I thought you would have found it all by now, but you seem to be pretty slow. The next gift can be found near a GoPro. Your bag. Mind you, I'll keep up the search. Again. No? <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to open it again? Yeah, open it and don't read that. Let me see that. You're the best. I like the paper. <gasps> <laughs> Is that the right one? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God it took me can... ages to find it. Yeah, I know. It's impossible. <laughs> this is the one I wore without matching like. Two. Right, here's, here's your next two. Here's your next clue. Now you've completed the collection, you have every original ratchet and clank. <laughs> All this searching is making me thirsty. Let's head to the whiskey bank. Okay, Jack. What? This is so thoughtful. <laughs> I must have taken you ages. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah, they're cool. So cool. They feel great. <gasps> Look at the pattern yeah. on them. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. Here's your next clue. They're so cool. <laughs> you found a penultimate present hidden behind the molds. Hopefully the last gift doesn't smell like your bath salts. Do you need this? Um, no, you can read that one. No? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, baby. Oh, yeah, they're the good. Do you like them? Yeah. They are so cool. Nice, I'm glad. Happy Aren't birthday. They? Aww. Mm. Oh. Every year. Every year without fail since we've been together, anyway. Really bad. Many times is that. I, th I think, I think... Sometimes I make it for Christmas as well though, so... You yeah, always make it for Christmas, that's Christmas is my birthday, so twice a year. It's my birthday, it's my birthday. I've had such a good morning. I can't believe that Jack went to all the effort of doing the, the like, present hunt. That was the best. So sweet. Um, and he made me my French toast. And it just so happens to be the hottest day of the year today. On my birthday. <laughs> so we're just chilling out outside. Do you know what I've made? I made spa water. I wanted it to be like a wellness retreat today. So this, my friends, is water, lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit. So it's quite, it's quite like acidic, but it's fresh to death. 
like I'm gonna have a wee glass of wine later, but I, I really don't want to get like I don't want to get like drunk today. I don't know if that's weird, but I, I definitely want to have like a like a wee glass later. Um, I just got these peonies from my mum and my dad. Actually, the card reads, "Happy birthday, love, mad and dumb." And yeah, I'm just having such a nice day. <laughs> Uh, I love getting ready on my birthday. I love doing my makeup. Uh, I finished watching my program, did my makeup, and yeah, I'm just feeling really super happy. So many lovely messages already from friends and family, and loads of like like supportive, just lovely messages from you guys. Just feeling dead happy and sweating profusely. Actually, is another thing. Also, of course. I had to have my caterpillar cake. Jack did that as well. I can't believe all the effort he went to. It actually made me cry. He's he's so funny. He's really good with words. He's really good at rhyming. So he did follow the clues, and it honestly made my day. It's it's like the most thoughtful thing ever. He said that he know he knows it's not ideal to have your birthday in lockdown, so he wanted to make it fun, and it's honestly been one of my favourite birthdays already. Well done, Jack. Well done. Here. Like it looks all right from the back. It really does. Mm, actually, no, it doesn't. Fuck. <laughs> this is sloping. This is falling. Ew. Back in the same spot every time. Um, like my other ones. I took these ones off. Oh fuck. Hello. Look at me, my makeup on. I got my makeup on. Look. Oh, you're gonna fall. Throb, but you leave that cake alone. I know you're sitting next to the cake because you want a slice, but you're not getting it. Is it tampons? You were hot. It's <laughs> in the tampons. Don't you be teaching all bad habits? Do you not? I'm watching you. <laughs>